Hey y'all. Paper tuning and bare shaft tuning are some of the most popular ways to tune your bow. Uh, there's a lot of videos on paper tuning, but today I want to talk about bare shaft tuning. This is something you can do at home. Uh, you don't need to make a paper tune. Take two of your arrows and uh, take one that's fletched and one that's bare shaft. So take the fletching off. That looks like that. Um, the fletching always corrects the flight of the arrow, so it's not always it's going to go in straight, but the bare shaft will show you how it's coming off the bow, whether the knot point needs to go up, down, and the rest needs to go left or right. So to bare shaft tune, you shoot the fletched arrow first, then the bare shaft. Uh, you're looking for the arrows to be parallel, up and down, and left and right. That's what you want them to look like at the end, parallel. Um, that will show you that the knocking point is correct, the arrow is coming off straight, and the rest, the left to right, is correct for your hand torque. I do recommend tuning the bow yourself, so it's right for your hand torque because everybody is different. Um, what might be right for somebody could be different for you, so always tune the bow for your hand. The thing I like about the bear shaft tuning is, you know, I like to start at 10 yards, get it tuned, and then I like to push it out to 20 really fine tune my bow. I start the rest in the star will place on the bow and then I move my D loop. I don't move my rest. The only time I move my rest is for the left and right. The best way to start your rest is your string in the center of your grip and then put your rest in line with the string and the grip. Uh, that's a good starting point if you want a center gauge. Starting my rest in the desirable uh, starting location, I start my knot point at a desirable starting location as well. So to do that, I put the arrow with the rest up and I try to put this D loop at a height that makes the arrow, the arrow parallel to um, a straight point on the bow. You can look at this, um, you can look at this. It's kind of just an estimate and then you adjust your knot point from there, but that gives you a good eyeball starting point. If you did just put new strings on your bow, Remember that your strings are going to stretch, so shoot your bow for a little bit before you tune it. That way, because uh, when your strings stretch, your knock point is going to change up and down. So get those strings broken in a little bit and then tune your bow. So I hope this video helps, and this is how you bear shaft tune your bow. For bear shaft tuning your bow, I recommend using something, a target uh, somewhat like the block, where your arrows really just sink into the target straight. You don't want to uh, bear shaft tune your bow with a target that's really broken in where the arrows are going to hang out and uh, not really stay in the target. That won't give you a, uh, an accurate read for your bear shaft tuning. So you really want to use a good target where the arrows are going to really sink in there good and uh, give you an accurate read. So keep that in mind. You shoot the flush there. Let's go see what we got. All right, so the left to right is not bad, but right now I'm gonna look at the knocking point, which is the up and down. So as you can see, my bear shaft needs to come up to make the arrows parallel. So I'm going to move my do-loop up a couple turns and see how that does. To move your do-loop, you just hold the string and turn the D loop up the direction you want to go. So I want to go up, I'm going to go up about two or three, I think. It's kind of an estimate. You want to keep count of your turns as you're doing this. We got. Right. So we're getting a little bit better. Uh, still gonna come up, I think, two. And uh, see how that goes. Two. I'm gonna go up three again. So I got on six turns total. All right. 
So here the height is pretty good. I think I'm gonna leave it there. Um, the next I'm gonna look at is the left and right. As you can see here, this bear shaft needs to come just a little bit to the right. So I'm gonna move the rest to the right to get this to line up. Looking for left to right and up and down. So that is how you bear shaft tune your compound bow. Uh, once I'm done tuning and I get my knocking point, I like to tie in the D loop. I put two knocking points uh, that way, just there's no risk of your D loop moving, um, and you always know where your knocking point is. Uh, to do that, I always knock my arrow and then tie above and below it, but the rest is down. Uh, that way you have enough room for your arrow in between your knocking points. I'm using a Luminoc or a Nocturnal, I recommend tying in with that so it's not too tight and you have room for that as well. But yeah, I hope this uh, video helps and that's how you bear shaft in your bow. Good luck!